The fact that we're hearing all this cheering and you and I are standing up here tells me your plan for victory didn't quite go the way we had hoped, Sebastian Bourdais. Now we're just not going to talk about my race, I think. That's not worth it. Well, uh, but we're missing bacon again. We're like, what's well, happening? Well, bacon's cold. Oh, and so we're going to leave him inside. Uh, I know you were in the car working all day. For those of us who were observing that work and the work of many others, this might have been the most exciting Indianapolis Grand Prix I have seen. There's only been five or six of them, but it was really good in the dry. There's a lot of fun stuff going on, passing, mistakes, people hitting one another. It was a little destruction derby going on. I think Bigfoot came out and crushed a couple cars too. Then it starts sprinkling. <laughs> Who's Bigfoot? Well, uh, Chris Wheeler, our man behind the camera. Thank you. Thank you again. Um, then it starts sprinkling. Then it starts raining. Then we have issues. Then we have a caution. Then we've got a caution we don't fully understand that lasted about 15 minutes. Then we have some cars not pitting and taking wets when they should. And then we had Dixon who led all day except for about a lap and three corners. And you started... 10th and finished 11th. I Ladies and gentlemen, recap. that's the recap. I got nothing to say. I was inside and didn't see anything. Well, so thank you very much. In here. Uh, this was a kind of a, I don't know, crazy day. How do you process all this? I don't know. I, I, I've, I've been part of a few races and, and I think I've legitly passed maybe 10 cars, more or less. And I finished 11th and I started 10th. I don't know quite. Like <laughs> some, I'm missing something. <laughs> But I mean, you know, it, it's just uh, when when the weather comes into play like this, it's just it's just really tough to make the right call. We we thought we were on it, and uh, you know, we started on Firestone Reds and Reds again, and most of the leaders did that, and Reds, Reds, Reds again, and at that point, it's like, well, it better rain because you got to put the blacks on if it doesn't rain, and sure enough, Ilio's incident was at the worst possible moment. Because you know you got a pit, and the guys were debating Craig and Dale like, what do we do? What do we do? Well, by the time they made the call, they made the call to go on blacks because they clearly didn't think it was that bad, and they didn't even have time to ask me. And had they asked me, I would have said, absolutely not. We're putting reins on, which is what Jack's done, which is was the right thing to do. You know, hats off. Yeah. He's on the podium. Really happy for them. Uh, very happy for Simon, who's had. Tough, you know, tough couple of years. Uh, but you know, at the end of the day, you got to make a call, and there was little time, and you know, we had to make another pit stop. Which now we're P15, uh, past a few cars and under the rain, and then everybody's tires kind of went off because it really wasn't that wet. Yeah, so yeah. the tires just so destroyed themselves. It was a brief, brief period where they were valuable, and yeah. then but, it was yeah. tire management. But it was, you know, it was too wet for dries and and not enough for those full rain tires. So. You know, overall, that Gecko car, you know, was fairly solid with some good scraps. We're fighting it out with Graham there, and uh, we're on the same program, but, yeah, it just didn't work out. Let's talk about our boy Pagano a little bit, who, for those who don't know, this guy here was very instrumental in trying to help Simon come over here and get an American career launched. Yeah, that I was about 10 years ago. Yeah, well, it's now. okay. I don't know if I can recall a time where there was questions about your skills and capability. Not talking Formula One. But at least in IndyCar, Simon's been through the ringer a bit. Been 22 races. I think Sonoma 2017 since his last race. Questions of his Rossi going to replace him. All these kinds of things. Can you at least share from either personal experience or anything you've seen where boy, you're in this drought, you're feeling pressure, and then you get this really awesome, call it vindication, release something where you can go, yeah, okay, I'm not done, pal. I'm, I'm, I can no, keep I doing mean, this. No, I mean, Simon's talent is unquestionable. I mean, the, the big thing is obviously is, like quite a few others, I mean, James and I and, you know, and Simon probably, like, are the three I know that struggle a bit with the same thing, like struggling to find the front grip in the middle of the corner without hurting the rears. And... It's been a struggle with that at Air Rocket, and we're still not quite on our end. I think Simon's finding his, his grounds a little bit more. This is this is a bit different uh, with the conditions, but he's definitely you know been stronger this year since the beginning of the season. Um, and it's it's just really frustrating. You know what you want, you just can't quite get there. Mm. And and usually in IndyCar, 
you have so much to play with that it never really lasts very long. Like you figure it out, you find something that works. Uh, but again, going back to the window of the tires um, and, and, and all sorts of factors just make it that's Mike Shank holding the uh, second place trophy, telling us to hurry up. Yeah, he's 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 clearly very upset. He's a happy. Yeah, he's so he he's not drunk yet. We'll get we'll get that taken <laughs> care of. But uh, so yeah, but basically, you know, I'm not gonna go on forever. But just trying to give you guys a, a bit of an insight. It, it, this car, that air kit, is very challenging to keep the front grip in the middle. Um, so yeah, you know, we we quite we haven't quite found it. I know a few others who haven't found it, uh, so we're here and there sometimes better than others, but uh, still, still searching and uh, you know, pretty happy for my buddy uh, Simon. Yesterday after qualifying, we were speaking about Jack Harvey qualifying third, he raced up to second, was really strong there, ended up, quote, settling for third. That means something though, right? For a young team like that, young driver, first visit to a podium, Man, so happy for them as well. Yeah, I mean, they, they executed this weekend. Uh, faultless, quick, good decisions. They, they, they did it, you know, I mean, better than most, obviously. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's great to see. And that's what IndyCar is all about. You, you bring some quality people, a good driver, and, and you get your stuff together. And, and you don't need to be Penske and Radio Ganassi to be up there. So uh, it's... It's pretty cool to see. Before we pivot and close here, big shout out to Chevy. This had been a, an all Honda show in qualifying. It was looking like it was going to be a Honda victory here until 83 and three quarters laps of an 85 lap race. Again, phenomenal job by Chevy. They have done some pretty big things here. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I wouldn't quite agree. I mean, obviously I'm on the Honda side, but I mean, you know, Hats off to Honda because they, you know, we got our butt run a little bit, you know, yeah. last year here on the big power tracks and stuff. Yeah. And it clearly seems like they've closed the gap and maybe, you know, top Chevy. And so that's that's a big plus, sure. you know, for new, for us. And then, you know, we're going to see what happens at the Speedway because that's really where we're going to, you know, big test. Um, so looking forward to that, and, and really in these conditions, I think you know obviously the Penske cars kind of came to life. We all seem to be really strong. Uh, I haven't seen obviously New Garden come back from that penalty, but uh, Simon you know obviously runs Dixie down, which it's not easy. Um, Absolutely. So yeah. All right. So we are a couple days away from first practice for the Indianapolis 500. Tell folks what you're going to do tomorrow, Sunday, and Monday while there are no cars on track. And should we tell them we're hoping to find some time to go see the new Avengers movie because both of us are way behind there. Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously it depends a bit on the uh, weather. Maybe uh, maybe play around the golf or something. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, catch a movie. We, we got golf. a date and, uh, and then see what happens. I've got a date with a Frenchman. All right. This is a hamburger and french fry show. Last one before we get to the real reason we're here. The Indy 500. Are you ready? I need to go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs>